Well, how's it going out there, guys? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. If you couldn't already tell, I am super excited to have you guys here with me today, and that is because we're going to start off today's episode with a bang. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take down Mr. House. So we're outside of the Vegas Strip. We're all geared up, and I'm totally prepared to go in there and whoop this guy's butt. Or, you know, whatever you whoop on a giant computer screen. Anyway, let's go ahead and venture forth. Um, something I do want to mention just very quickly before we get too deep into the episode. Um, I apologize, first of all, if my voice sounds a little bit off. I woke up today feeling the slightest bit under the weather, but I'm feeling good enough to go ahead and do videos, so it won't inhibit me from doing that. But I do apologize if I'm a little bit shaky on this episode, and probably the next couple ones as well, as I'm getting better. But, not to worry guys, I'm sure I'll do just fine. Um, who is this? This doctor looking Excuse person. Me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? I see you've heard of me. Why, yes I am. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well... The followers of the what now? ...interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And you need a strapping man like me, so uh, this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. You know, that's a really good point. Um, all right, I'm on it. Really? Oh. I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty charitable today. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Yeah, no problem. I figure it's the least I can do since I'm going to kill the guy anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what this sucker's got. Hey, if Whoa, you what the heck? Bug Mr. House's network yet? Are, are you kidding me? Calm your tits down. Not quite yet, okay? Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. Sheesh. Damn, she's pushy. Veronica, don't you get like that, okay? Uh, alright, let's go ahead, and I guess before I kill Mr. House, I should probably bug him. I get the feeling that once I kill him, though, I'm going to automatically fail the quest to bug him for info, but whatever. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find a computer terminal somewhere around here. Um... Is there one upstairs? You know, what would help is if I made that my active quest, then it'll show me a marker to where I could find one. Um... Where is this marker pointing me? Can I... No, I can't use that terminal. I think it is upstairs. If I'm remembering correctly, because I vaguely remember this. Um... Oh yeah, right over there, I see it. It's right behind the desk. If I could just get around these damn bar stools! Damn you, Mr. House, you anticipated this! Okay, uh, let's bug the network. Alright, cool. Well, at least we got a couple XP for that. Not bad. Um, probably not going to follow up on that in all honesty. But let's go ahead and make our way up to the penthouse. This has been a long time coming. Or, well, not too long. We only got to the Vegas Strip in, like, two episodes ago. But still, been waiting to take Where down this guy since I got here. Alright, Victor, go ahead and take me up to the penthouse. We're going to see what this guy really looks like. Because I got the feeling he ain't that Walt Disney looking guy who's always up on the jumbo screen. So, uh, alright, let's go ahead and see. I also noticed that since we upgraded the Securitrons, they no longer look like cops, they the look like army guys. Made. My Securitrons on the strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. You mean my now Securitrons. Now adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Yeah, okay. Uh, what is the next step, just so I know? Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. I. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR, or Caesar's Legion. Sounds smart enough. Uh, I'll make sure that they support the right side. Use extreme caution when approaching the base. Their firepower is considerable. 
Recently, one of my roaming Securitrons observed a man near the base studying the pattern of its artillery fire. Maybe he's learned something. Okay, cool. That'll be very useful information for when I ultimately take over the Strip. But uh, you don't know that just yet. Um, so the first thing's first, to find Mr. House um, could be a little tricky. What's going to help is that we have Stealth Boys. We have a lot of them. Uh, you only need one, really, but uh, let me go ahead and use one. Stealth Boy basically does this. It uh, turns you invisible, like so. And uh, now that we're invisible, our sneak is through the roof. And we can kind of get by relatively unscathed past all the Securitrons. Um, we're going to go ahead and enter in our admin password. Welcome, Mr. House. Open the antechamber. And uh, this is going to unlock a hidden door. And uh, behind that hidden door, there's actually going to be another terminal that we need to hack, but you don't actually have to do any hacking. For some reason, your character just knows the passwords. Um, I think it might have something to do with owning the Platinum Chip. Um, let me just, I, I'm not sure if I did that or not. But carefully, you're going to have to go quick, because as soon as you close out of this, all the Securitrons are going to become extremely hostile. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to make a run for it. Okay. And here's the other terminal. Oh, crap. So they do see me, even with the, uh... Even with the stealth boy, I'm still visible to them. That's not good. Alright, unlock control room elevator. And it's going to be the door right to our left. So as soon as that's open... Starting... Just give it a second, and... Okay, let's go for it. Uh, let's go down to the control room. I do not want to stay here. I'm going to become Swiss cheese if that happens. And, uh, whoa. This is creepy. Okay. So, Mr. House, let's get a look at your ugly mug. You must be in here, right? Whoa, what the fuck? Uh... Do I have to, like, unplug him? Well, shooting him doesn't do anything. Uh, let's try this terminal over here. Uh, let's see what this does. Unseal the LS chamber. Warning, microfibril infection. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Let's do this. Mr. House, time to see your true face. Let's see how old you really are. Whoa. Uh, is it Darth Vader? Oh my god! Oh god, I think I'm gonna be sick! It's the Crypt Keeper! Why have you done this? Oh my god. Centuries of preparation. So much good undone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I like this. I just don't like you. Uh, yes, man, need to control. It's just business. If personal gain, what you sought, should have done. As asked. Yeah, see, the problem with that is I'm just not a follower. I kind of like to do things on my own, so it's time for you to die, Mr. House. May there be a hell for you, a Tartarus, bleak, unending. Okay, cool. That'll go good with my fish sticks. Well, uh, alright, let's just pop a couple bolts in this guy's skull. Uh, am I hitting him? I think I am. Whoa! Oh god! Ew, ew, ew! His guts are exploding all over me. Oh. Oh well. Mr. House, do you have anything on you? I actually don't know. No, apparently not. Oh well, we got a nice bump in experience. And, uh, this is kind of weird. You get this quest called The House Has Gone Bust, and then you immediately fail it as well. Um, I guess we also failed that mission to bug the Lucky 38 Casino. Uh, yeah, there it goes. The house has gone bust, automatically failed. I really have no idea what that's about. If that was intended to be a quest at some point, but uh, they scrapped it or something, or if it's just glitched. But um, that's always been the case. Every time I've played this game and I've killed Mr. House, uh, you always get that quest and immediately fail it. But anyway, uh, one more thing we have to do now that we've killed Mr. House before we move on to bringing the Yes Man over to uh, take over the infrastructure here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Caesar um, because he actually has a quest where you have to kill Mr. House, and um, I'm not working for Caesar per se, but since he gave me the quest anyway, I figured I'd go and turn it in just to get the extra experience he'll give me and to talk to him. 
see if maybe he gives me some useful info. So um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to Caesar's camp, and once I'm there, I will rejoin you guys. So see you in a second. Nice puppy, don't bite me. Okay, Caesar, I did what you asked. I've read Mr. House's obituary. Had a high opinion of himself, didn't he? Yeah, just a little bit. With Mr. House out of the way, I can focus on smoothing out a few lingering complications elsewhere in the Mojave. First up are the boomers of Nellis Air Force Base. A tribe so reclusive, it lobs artillery shells at anyone who comes near their settlement. Well, that's not I good. I to offer them an alliance with my legion. My terms are simple. Target their guns against the NCR side of the dam when I assault it, and they can keep their freedom. If you find they aren't amenable to this offer, destroy them. Alright, I will handle the boomers for you, Cough Cough. Good. Your first challenge will be to reach their settlement without getting blown up. After that, it should be easy. Alright, cool. We got a cool little bump in experience and uh, Legion affiliation, I guess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run back over to the Strip now, and I will rejoin you guys outside the Tops Casino where the Yes Man is. So I'll see you guys in just a second. As a matter of fact, yes. Uh, I'm ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip? Wonderful. Let's go. Alright, cool. So we're just going to follow the Yes Man on over to the uh, Lucky 38. And there he will actually be able to download his data onto Mr. House's mainframe. And uh, basically take control of all the Securitrons for us. But uh, while we're heading on over, I thought I'd just take a quick second here to say hi to you guys, see how you're doing. I hope your day is going well. Whoa, that was weird. He just disappeared. But um, I hope that your day is going well. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm a little bit under the weather. Not really sure how that happened. Woke up today feeling a little bit sickly, a little sneezy. And I don't know if it's allergies or if I'm sick. Uh, I kind of have a hard time telling the difference, honestly. But uh, hopefully you guys are in better health than I am. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's going on here, buddy? Hi! This is... Big, huh? A very big moment. Here goes. I'll just take that platinum chip off your hands. Thanks. Wish me luck. All right. For the both of us, you better make this work. Oh my God! It's that thing from Nick Jr. Wow. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his databanks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. In English. Every Securitron on the network has been upgraded. Pretty neat, huh? Oh man, Securitron I almost got an extra the level there. Are on standby. I see a status log here confirming that the Mark II OS upgrade installed correctly. Sweet. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. But we'll worry about that later. Cool, cool. Um, so next thing, should I ask tribes around here if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. I like that answer. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. It's kind of like Sim City. Okay, which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. All right, uh, let's talk a little bit about the tribes that I'm going to be getting to know. Of course, ask away. The first one I think I want to talk about is the, uh, let's see. What do you know about the Omertas? Hmm, I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Okay, good tip. Uh, do you know anything else about the Omertas? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. Yikes. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, 
and he thought they were up to something because he said they always are. Okay, I'll check into the Omertas a little bit more then. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. I love this Anything guy's attitude. Help so helpful. Um, you know what? That is it. What should we talk about next? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, goodbye. Don't stay away too long. Okie dokie. I love having this guy around. We really need to get more people like him onto the payroll. Oh, okay. Beware the wrath of Caesar. Okay, so once you have actually done this and put Yes Man in charge of Mr. House's mainframe, yeah, you also get this. Don't tread on the bear. Um, Veronica, why don't you come with me? Um, those two quests that popped up, they aren't really quests so much as they are warnings to let you know that um, you're falling out of favor with the NCR and with Caesar's Legion. And if you progress too much with the Yes Man, you'll lose the ability to choose one of the other factions. Which, eh, you know, it's okay for me. Because ultimately we are going to be following our own path with the Yes Man. Um, before I deal with the Omeritas, I want to make a quick travel down to Prim. So we're just going to fast travel down there. Now that my lock picking is up to 75 as of the end of, I believe, the last episode, we can come over to the, uh, what was it, the Bison Steve Hotel and Casino, and there was a safe that we could now lock pick and get a unique weapon from. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But even before that, we're going to come over here to the Vicky and Vance Casino, and we're going to trigger a neat little, uh, little dialogue over here. What are you doing here? This is our casino, punk. Damn, this chick looks like a shaggy dog off the street. Um, you guys, are you deserters by any chance? I like to think that we're prisoners of war that managed to escape before capture. Uh-huh. I don't know how long it'll be before the Legion crosses the river, but sure as fuck, I don't want to be wearing an NCR uniform when they get here. Okay, so they desert the NCR. Your turf, I guess the news hasn't reached you that Prim has law again. Fuck, we lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, so you resort to robbing and raiding to solve your problems? Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts, and we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. Okay. Well, why not just, uh, turn yourselves in? I mean, that's the best you can do. No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't gonna throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. Yeah, true. Well, they do have quite a few more troops than just the four of you. You are kind of greatly outnumbered here. No biggie there. We've been avoiding the patrols and staying low-key until this mess. Hmm. It would be safer to run and find some place to hide, then. Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows up. Yeah, you're lucky I'm letting you run out of here with a warning. Well, okay, that was all I really wanted to do here. Just trigger that little dialogue and get some experience from doing the speech check. Um, let's go ahead and head over to the Bison Steve, though, for the real reason why we're here, which is to get that nice gun. Um... Although I really do like the Maria, I believe that the unique weapon we can get here is a little bit better. And um, it's actually going to be a revolver, so that's going to be fun to use. Um, let's see, I believe the safe was over here in this little uh, grocery area. Alright, now we can use our lockpick and skizzles. Damn, this is hard. Okay, so it's right about there, nice. Okay, let's grab everything. Ooh, and we leveled up too, nice. Uh, yeah, Lucky is the gun that we came here to get. Uh, Lucky is probably one of the best unique pistols in the game. It may be one of the best pistols in general. Um, I'm not positive on that, so don't quote me, but I just know that it's a pretty damn good uh, weapon. Okay, cool. We leveled up so we can spend some points again. Let's put some more into speech, because we're going to want a nice round 80 for some of the dialogue options coming up soon. And uh, let's also put some points into... I think maybe repair would be good, and science would be good as well. And we got two left, so let's put one into medicine and one into survival just to round them off to nice even numbers. Oh, and then we get a perk. Always the tough decision. Wait a second, life giver? I almost feel obligated to get that just because the uh, icon looks like me a little bit. Um, fast metabolism. Yeah, that would be pretty good. More health from stim packs. Ooh, the Robox Expert might... Oh, these all would be good. 
And again, here's the problem. So many good perks to choose from. I almost feel obligated to get this one, but I'm going to elect to instead... Um, there's another perk I was reading about that I wanted to get. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... Oh, Terrifying Presence. That was it. Yeah, this will go good with, um... It, it basically provides you some alternate conversation options, which I kind of like having. I think a lot of people would argue that's not the most practical perk to choose, because it's only going to help you in very specific instances, and uh, it's not going to help you a lot with combat and that kind of stuff, but I like having those perks. They're kind of fun to use. All right, so with Terrifying uh, terrifying Presence, or whatever the perk's called, we'll have the ability to kind of scare off enemies and intimidate them so that if we want to initiate combat with a group, we can uh, get sort of the jump on them and terrify them into running away from us. Um, now that we're back here on the Strip, before we go over to the Omertus Casino, which is the Gamora, by the way. Um, actually, no, let me fast travel to the East Gate. That'll take me closer to where I want to go. Um, before we go to the Gamora, which that is why I picked the Omertus, actually, because I was telling you guys I wanted to go check out the Gamora. Um, so that's why we're going to be visiting the Omertus. But before we do that, we're going to pop over here to Freeside real quick. And come over to Mick and Ralph's, where we got our uh, counterfeit passport. And uh, I believe that the person we dealt with was Ralph. We never actually went to the back to talk to Mick, who's kind of like the gun trader between the two of them. So uh, let's go see what he has. Uh, Welcome Mick. to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Yeah, that's what he told me too. Um, let's see. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. Hmm. What's the deal with the uh, Omertas? I'm about to pay them a visit. That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Um, will do. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, actually. Um, do you have any special items for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? <laughs> uh, no. In that case, yes, I do. Sweet. Okay, so if you lied to him and tell him no, oh my god, secret hole in like the wall. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. I like this guy's philosophy. Um, I'm not actually going to buy anything here. Um, he does actually have a lot of really good weaponry there, but I'm, I'm just doing that to get the uh, experience from passing the speech check. And uh, now that that's done, we can go back to the strip. I just wanted to talk to him real quick so that we could get that little tip about the fact that uh, the Omertas no longer buy guns from them. That'll be important for later to uh, help us get a very special item once we've uh, finished up our dealings with the Omertas. Anyway, now that we're here, let's go ahead and go to the Gamora and check things out here. You know, I've been walking around and every time I walk by here I see one of these dancers and I just feel so tempted to go inside. Hey baby, there's more of this waiting for you inside. Ooh, yeah. Hey there, Whoa, friend. What? A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. <laughs> Lucky for you. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? My stock and trade? All <laughs> kinds of easy to hide weapons are slipping into and out oh, of the Oh, I'm seat. sorry. They won't give you a second glance. Oh my god, okay, when I, when you said protection, that to totally threw me for a loop. L let's see what you have. Um, what this guy actually sells is holdout weapons, which are guns that you can get by guards when they confiscate weapons. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna buy some silenced pistols from him. Oh my god, that was... I, I completely didn't understand where he was going with that. My bad. I thought he meant a whole other kind of protection. But, uh, yeah, you just keep doing your thing down there, miss. Uh, let's go ahead and repair these, because these are pretty beat up, these, uh, silenced pistols. We're gonna need these, because when we go into the Gamora, the... The guys in there are actually going to confiscate everything from us. You can get your weapons by if you have a high sneak skill, but I don't, so I will not be able to do that. Hence why I need these holdouts. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. I mean, I totally expected that. Okay, and keep my holdout weapon. You get these back on your way out. Uh-huh. You ain't so slick, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and equip it, though, because it won't do much good to me if it's not hotkeyed. And uh, let's go ahead and talk to the receptionist. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Uh, let's see. I'm calling in for an outstanding balance on some information, so tell me what the Omertas are up to. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. 
What do you want to know? Everything, baby. Uh, I need to know who to talk to about what's been going on in Gamora. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Okay, sounds good. That's all I need. Bye. Alright, ciao, darling. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can find Kachino. Rhymes with Cappuccino. Is from Reno. And his favorite Grand Theft Auto game is San Andreas because it has Mike Torino! And this is precisely why I have not pursued a career in hip-hop. Okay. I believe that he is over here to uh, this side of the casino. Uh, go through here, and he's a bald-looking fellow right here. You're even asking questions about me, dickweed. Whoa. What the fuck do you want? Well, an attitude change would be nice. I heard some things. Business. What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. Yeah, I got a silence pistol here, buddy. I hear you've been doing dealings that's off limits. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. Wow, real nice fella. Okay, so um, we're now going to be prompted to either pickpocket him or to check his room for some incriminating evidence. Uh, since I still have some stealth boys, I think the quicker thing is maybe if I just use one and pickpocket him. And doing so will get us Kachino's journal. You really shouldn't carry that in your back pocket if it's that incriminating. You again. What the fuck do you want? You're about to change your tune real quick because I found something that you don't want people to see. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. Yeah, for you. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? A room and a chick. Okay. Is this journal worth, uh, let's say, a hundred caps to you? I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. That's what I really Between wanted. you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 100 caps, and you help me break up whatever your bosses have planned. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. Okay, so what kind of specialist is Clandon? I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone well, it'd be kind of weird if you saw him fucking. Then I'd just be hope. creeped out by you. Um, I have a couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. Uh, tell me about this Troik guy. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. Sounds like my kind of life. Connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho. So he gets his guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay. Um, I have a couple more things to ask. Okay, toss them at me. Uh, let's see. Do you know anything about what they're planning? No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. Okay, maybe I'll have to talk to one of them, but that's all I have for now. Maybe I'll have more later. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Yeah, I wouldn't call me a friend exactly, after you were cursing me out just a second ago. But, um, that's some very useful information. Let's go ahead and... I think the first person I want to see is... Troik. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I bump into first, but we're going to go ahead and check out on both of those guys. Um, I believe this is the elevator I want to take. Let's go to the suites. And I think that Troik is going to be partying on up here with a couple ladies, probably. But let's go ahead and see. Damn, this place is dirty. Glad Someone needs to get a janitor to clean up around here. Uh, let's go ahead and go up another floor. Which you can only do if you have a key that I believe that uh, Kachino gave us. Um, ooh, this door is going to be very important, so remember that that's there. Can't get in there now because you need a very high lockpick skill, but we'll get a key that will enable us to go in in a second. Uh, oh, here we are, Troik. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. 
Damn, this guy's jumpier than a jackrabbit. Okay, um, let's see. Tell me what happened with the prostitute. That sounds interesting. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. Damn, bro, that's a tough story. Do you know where the knife came from, though? It's kind of weird. I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. Oh, I guess it's not that weird, then. Uh, I have a couple more questions about what happened that night. Alright, how about it? Let's see, I'm gonna play detective here. Um, how did the family find out about it? It's kind of suspicious. When I saw the body, I started screaming. In a few seconds, some of their soldiers were in there cleaning up the room. They offered to keep silent about what happened if I agreed to help them get their hands on large quantities of guns. Ah, okay. Business. It all begins to make sense. A couple more questions, buddy. Alright, how about it? Uh, let's see. Would you like me to try and get you out of your contract with them? You'd do that for me? I'm not sure what can be done, but you'd be doing me a solid if you would. I've been talking to Big Saul mostly. Okay, well, Big Sal's the guy we have to talk to. Um, if you guys can't already tell, it may not be super obvious, but Troik is actually being set up here. Um, that murder was completely staged to make him think that he'd killed her, when in fact that's very far from the truth. And um, Big Sal basically set that up so that Troik would feel obligated to help him out with these gun shipments. And um, there's, a do there's like a dozen different ways we can go about proving that. Uh, but the easiest way, really, is to just go talk to a Big Sal and ask him to release Troik from his contract. And, um, later on we'll find some blackmail evidence that suggests that Troik is actually innocent from his crime, but, um, there really are about a dozen different ways you can go about dealing with Troik. You can actually intimidate him into getting over it if you have a high enough speech, uh, skill, and I do have a high enough speech check. But, um, I'm not going to use it, because if you use it on Troik... Um, it leads to him getting caught by the mobsters and getting killed, so... All over the place. This is Clandon's room. That's Clandon down there. We're going to completely ignore him for just a second, um, because I don't really care about talking to him. I just need to find evidence about what he does and uh, if he's going to be a threat to us. So if we come over here to these dressers... Ooh, there's a safe here, and it's hard to pick, so there must be something good in it. Um, if you don't have a, light, uh, a high lockpick skill, I believe you can also uh, pickpocket from uh, Clandon or whatever his name is and get the key to it. But I think I can do this. Oh, come on. I know it's like right here. It's right there? Okay, there, finally. That one was tough. So bottle caps, nice. And snuff tapes? Oh my god. Um, basically, a snuff tape, if you guys don't know what that is it's a tape where uh basically you're committing torture or murder and it's kind of like a fetish thing it's really creepy and screwed up so clandon hey, nice to meet you do you need help with something yeah i do as a matter of fact i think the uh, actually wait a second uh time for me to go later before i do this i forgot i want to close the door just so any of merch is walking by don't come rushing to Good help to him you again hope you're winning some money in here yeah yeah okay um i think the authorities would like to hear these tapes that i found in your safe I think I should kill you before you have a chance to show those tapes to anyone. What do I have to lose? Wow, he's rather bold. I kind of admire that. Um, I can't give you these tapes. They are evidence of a crime, so I'm just going to have to keep them, buddy. I guess you've made your choice then. Time to die. Yeah, well, joke's on you, because I got vats. Um, although I should equip my gun first, I guess. Uh, hold on. Like oh god. He's got a pistol too, I didn't expect that. Uh, Veronica, you go on and just punch him right in the face, like you do so well. Alright, cool, we dropped Clandon. Kind of surprised he didn't, like, explode into a million different pieces like everybody else. But uh, now we can get a bunch of stuff from him, a bunch of keys, and some cool stuff, including a very, very effective pistol. Um, if we didn't already get that pistol from the, uh, Bison Steve Hotel, his is pretty good, too. Although it's not unique in any way. Alright, so we now have the option of informing Kachino that we've killed uh, Clandon, but we're going to hold off on that for a second. First, we're going to help out uh, Troik get out of his contract with Big Sal, so let me see real quickly uh, if we can find Big Sal somewhere. I believe I know where he usually is. Sometimes he's around his offices, but other times you can find him around this way. 
Um, he kind of like chills out on a sofa over on the uh, upper floor here. And uh, there's a couple things you can do to get Troik out of his contract. You can barter with him or you can just pass a simple speech check. So uh, I will be doing that. Here we go, Big Sal. What's up? Uh, you want to talk to me, buddy? Hey, you're Kachino's friend. You got business with me? Yeah, sorta. I'd like to talk to you about Troik, I think. Uh, actually, before that, Mick and Ralph are curious why you stopped buying guns from them. Sorry, but I don't know you from Adam. And you don't have any business getting in our business. Okay, fair, I guess. Well, back to my first question. I'd like to talk about Troik. Ah, Troik. What's he want? Some more jet? A fresh batch of girls? Maybe a guy or two this time. Eh, <laughs> funny. Actually, I'd like to see about getting him out of his obligations to you. Just get him out of that contract. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Because I'll make it worthwhile. Um, Troik is pretty strung out. He'll be more trouble than he's worth if you keep him around. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Okay, tell Troik he can hit the road. Good news. Okay, goodbye. All right, come back anytime. And that's really the only time we'll ever talk to Big Sal. Um, as an alternative to working with Kachino, you can actually work with Nero and Big Sal, the head honchos around here. Although that's more apropos if you're working alongside the Legion. Um, because we're working with the Yes Man, that's kind of why I'm working with Kachino instead. Because Big Sal and Nero are basically planning an assault on some of the other families. You again. Make it quick. Alright, Kachino sent me... Oh, actually, no. Uh, Big Sal agreed to let you go. Holy shit. Really? Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. Yeah, frankly, I don't blame you one bit. Uh, what can you tell me about the guns that the Omertas have? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. What can we do to take care of the guns? Let's get rid of them. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermal what now? It burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. So our speech is high enough that we can tell Troik to deploy the thermite, but if we do that, he'll get caught. So um, just give me the thermite and I'll destroy the weapons myself. Okay, here's the thermite and a key to the room where the guns are stored. Place the thermite on the crates in the room. I rigged the light switch outside the room to kick off a spark big enough to hold the thermite. That should turn that shit into molten slag. As soon as we're done talking, I'm gonna make myself like a ghost. I don't want to be anywhere near here when the bosses find out. Okay, sounds smart. That's all I need from you. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. So we got our thermite now. We have everything we need to take these guys down. However, we are running very much over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, guys. Thanks for joining me. In the next one, we will go ahead and take down Big Sal and Nero. And uh, possibly move on to tackling another one of the tribes here in New Vegas. But again, thank you guys for joining me. My name is GSK Sadia. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider subscribing to me. And that way you'll be updated anytime there are new posts made to my channel. But otherwise, I really hope that you enjoyed the episode. Until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!